welcome back to week number 40 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. Don't have anything to show off right now in terms of progress, but I do have to say that I've messed with some settings, changed some things around, and now there's no more artifacting whenever I spin the camera or whenever I move. Uh, the only issue that still remains is that there are some occasional frame drops, but I think those were happening anyway. Um, I turned on shadows, may turn them off before too long because I think uh, they're causing some of the frame drops, but aside from that, um, they do make the game look a lot nicer. Uh, some Someone mentioned that there was some uh, artifacting or that I needed to turn on anti-aliasing, um, and I noticed it myself whenever I was editing the last video, uh, so I went ahead did some uh, some changes to OBS and things should look a lot nicer now at least a lot more consistent and for the first gains of the week it's going to be a construction level level 96 not bad trying to knock out about a million XP per day don't know if my hands can take it but uh, yeah we'll see also my new daily challenge is a dungeoneering one pretty happy about that. Each one of these is worth about 45 minutes of dungeoneering grind. Seeing as I have like 250 hours left, well, they're really handy. Again. Again, I go to complete a challenge, a daily challenge, and I just so happen to get a pet. So I guess it's not on me, it was sent to my bank or something like that, but I just got Gordy. <laughs> I... I mentioned earlier that I got a Dungeoneering Daily Challenge today. I extended it, that was the first floor, and I heard fireworks, and I was like, that was the first floor, not the second. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Number eight, that's insane. <laughs> See, and I'm about to get to a super depressing part in Game of Thrones. Uh, I'll give a little hint. It's season four, episode eight, towards the end. Uh, if anyone's watching it, I'm doing a rewatch before season seven starts. But I just I can't stop smiling right now, even though I know what's about to happen. And on to the next day. I started off today with a little bit of Slayer, and I completely forgot to uh, go and show something off. Let me click expand here. I just completed my 300th task, and it got me quite a few Slayer points. Currently sitting on 815. Uh, now, I'm going for 2,000 um, so that I can unlock the Ice Strike Worm ability, uh, so that I can kill them without having to wear like a fire cape or something like that, because I don't own a fire cape or a um, kiln cape, and I'm going to need to kill one uh, for comp, uh, completing Rush of Blood on Platinum Wave 20 for a title for comp, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm saving up about another 1,200 Slayer points to hopefully save from doing an hour of kiln. And on to the next day, just picked up 97 construction. Uh, barely missed the, uh, the little fireworks and stuff like that, but that was my bad getting distracted watching Game of Thrones. Um, just gonna keep doing this for a little bit more. Probably push myself all the way to 11 mil, so I'm, you know, 2 mil away, 2 more days to the 99, and, uh, yeah, got some other stuff to take care of today. The man of pet luck himself! You are watching his videos, because, yeah, Crestbot. Bam. Alright. <laughs> well... At the very least, I spent that entire task on balanced between all three of my melee stats. So, uh, yeah, you know, there's some good, there's some bad, but my pet luck is still absolutely absurd. Well, that is quite the interesting drop, some Ascension Grips. Uh, I would say that that's an upgrade, but it's not, because Nightmare Gauntlets are better in, like, almost every case. Uh, but I guess that's one more item to the collection, you know? Something else for the collector tab. It really has been quite the day. Been doing lots of that slaying and lots of construction earlier on. But it's always nice that right before I go to sleep, I get a decent uh, achievement there. 99 strength. 
Well, that's the last of my combat skills taken care of. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy that that is off the list now. <laughs> uh, time to go get that cape, even though I am mid-task. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get the cape. It's quite fitting that a guy with the name Strongarm should be selling the skill cape of strength. And, sure, and there we go. Uh, actually, quite a useful cape, uh, if you're looking to DPS or anything like that uh, with melee. But, uh, I also like the look of it. It's pretty nice, the red and green, uh, the complementary colors taking place there. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today, probably, so on to tomorrow. And starting today off with some barrows, uh, but doing this for about 40 minutes. Uh, don't know how many KC I'm up to, probably like 15 or so. Um, I just got my first drop, that being a Carol's Crossbow, which I believe I already have in the bank. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's for the I Brought Your Stuff Back uh, achievement uh, for the um, Mauritania Diaries. So uh, I've got quite a few more KC to go through. And to think of all the work I had done to try and avoid do getting another fire cape when apparently I never equipped it into Tsar? I'm pretty sure I equipped it as soon as I got it, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I need that for the Elite Diary, so I guess I have to kill Jad again. Oi. Well, I failed it once, but there we go. I finished my second kiln uh, in total. That's 48 minutes, 24 seconds. I could have gone a little bit faster, I think, but I'm always really nervous about this. I'm gonna take the Mage Cape. Yes, I'll accept that. And that is so I can kill Ice Strike Worms without having to build up 2,000 points. Um, I realize that it's a lot quicker. So, yeah, that's taken care of. And an expert Karamjid Diary, which, as you can probably tell from the last clip or two, I've been working on the diaries today. Um, gotten all but, I believe, one of the Fremenic Elite Diaries taken care of. Yep, kill an Ice Strike Worm. Voila. And uh, quite a few of the Karamja ones done. You can see mostly just Elite left to go. And I can do all of them. It's really satisfying to watch the damage numbers on Ice Strike Worms. But there we go. First strike. That's completed the Fremenic Elite Task Set. Gotta go claim that reward from wherever. And it turns out it's from Advisor Grimm. So, where is it at? About the task system. And there we go. All of these lamps going into farming. I figure uh, this is the slowest skill of the remaining ones. Um, summoning might be, but, you know, people are going to yell at me in the comments if I put any more free XP like this into summoning. Also, I think it's about time for me to set my pet over to Gordy. That's something I hadn't done yet. Uh, I was keeping up with uh, having it be the last pet that I had earned, but I don't really like Dojo Mojo, so let's just, uh, right there, override familiars. So I just ran Broken Home again uh, to go and claim all of these XP lamps, as well as, uh, well, I did a Deathless, so here's a huge XP lamp going into farming, and then all the rest of these are also going into farming, um, which might get me the level, I'm not actually sure. Um, but that was a comp requirement, so I thought I should just go ahead and go take care of it. And uh, yeah, it looks like one more should get me the level. Nice. There's 98. And uh, quite a bit more. Cool, so just about a million farming left to go. Of course, nothing unlocked. Don't think there's anything in 99 either, other than skill mastery. Oh, and I did that in 26 minutes, which I think is my best time so far. I think I've run the quest like four or five times in total between my two accounts, so uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. And I'm here talking to King Rold. Uh, let's see, talk about the beacons. And I'm here to claim my reward. The last reward. The Inferno Adzi. Adz? Adzi? Something like that. Um, yeah, I just did the full... 14 beacon run for it 
Uh, hopefully I never lose it and have to do it again. And now, I'm attending a funeral. Right after getting the Inferno ads. No, I didn't kill anybody with it. It's Clarence, the mage from Hand in the Sand. Uh, or whatever that quest is called. I think it was changed. Uh, but anyway, that, I believe, is a comp requirement. It just gave me 10k mage XP. Sure. And, uh, let's see. There we go. One foot in the grave. And I just completed Dimension of Disaster for the second time. You can see here, I got the Tiny Taskmaster achievement, which means I did all of the new Varrock achievements, uh, or Tiny Zimorgals achievements. And I'm just going to collect the rest of my reward from that rerun. And, uh, yeah, glad to be done with that. On to the next day. And there's the end of the Varrock Elite task set. Going to go claim that reward from Vanaka right after I uh, finish my farm run. Alright, I'm here at Vanaka with my Varrock armor about the task system. And there we go. The quite nice looking Varrock armor 4 and all of this XP straight into farming. There's 30k, 40k... 40k, and I think the last one is, like, yeah, another 40. Not bad to start the day off. Only been online for about 10 minutes. And there is the completion of the Karamja hard task set. And I already completed the elite tasks. That's, like, the second or third time I've done that, where I finished all of the elite ones before I finished all of the hard ones. Uh, but, hey, it's time to go collect those, uh... Both of those rewards. Actually, all of the rewards. I don't have any of the Karamja gloves yet. And there are the rewards from 1, 2, 3, and 4. Alright, and all of that XP is going straight into farming. I figured you guys would know by now. There's another 30k. A 1,000 from Karamja gloves. One. 55,000. And the last one's another 55, isn't it? Yep. Not bad. Again, it's only been like an hour, maybe an hour and a half since I got up, but a very productive day so far. And I just unlocked the Salve Amulet E by picking up Tarn's Diary here, uh, and did the completionist requirement, uh, Detarnation. Or rather, I completed the com requirement, Telltale Tarn, and uh, Detarnation, the Mauritania requirement. And here I got the Skull of a Cave Matriarch wolf matriarch something like that um i'll take the 2k pure essence that sounds fine and there's a comp requirement and i thought i completed all of the ports requirements but this is still here complete one of the trio storylines so maybe it's not just complete a trio mission but complete a full storyline with them um i'm glad that i've been keeping up with ports then because i have been uh even after i said i completed it just sending out missions consistently kind of nervous about that but uh yeah it should get taken care of within the next few weeks and here in sears village finishing the sears elite diaries now let's see if i can actually claim it from this guy right here uh no it's a different person gonna have to look that up and there it's sir k about the task system there's the sears headband for and all of those Juicy XP lamps going into farming yet again. There's another 30k, 30k, and probably 30k. Yep. Bam. Leaves me with 440k left to go for 99 to farming. And now I'm completing Majorat Memories, uh, the mini quest here with Karsha. And, um, yeah, that's another comp requirement taken care of. Probably one of the longer ones, uh, aside from. I don't know, like Livid Farm? On to the next day, doing some Slayers who work on Invention and uh, just finished another set of Ganodermic for Invention 115. Five levels to go. And here's Tears of Guthix for the week. Probably the second to last time I'm ever gonna do it. There's another 70k construction. Uh, the weekly reset is today, I believe which means that I'm going to do it again later tonight. And I just completed the Tyrwin Elite Task Set by 
doing more of Rain's Rush of Blood all the way up to wave 16. Needed at least 15 in gold or platinum difficulty. Don't know how I'm ever going to get this to rave, uh, wave 20. Um, it's really going to take quite a bit of practice. Or maybe it just requires a Steel Titan. I'm not sure. Uh, but I could only get to 16, maybe 17 with an extra 5 or 6 seconds. Uh, but that's like 3 waves missing. So um, maybe it's also luck. Like I got a lot of TD waves, like 2 or 3 of them. Uh, I, have, I have no idea. And here we are in the Max Guild Garden. Collecting the Elite Task Set Reward. Wow, I completely forgot about all of this other stuff. Uh, sadly, that's a Crystal Orb. I actually need a Crystal Ward to trade to Lady Ithel. Uh, but there's the Tier 1 Quiver 4. Some more Motherload Shards, which might come in handy. And all of this XP. Just going straight into farming. How much is this? 40k. Yeah, not quite enough for the 99. But that's kind of intended. You'll see why in a little bit. And here I'm picking up 98 construction. Yeah, that that's all. Just 98 construction. 1.2 mil to go. It's like three more hours. And I'm using mahogany logs that I got from, uh, uh, what's that called? Miscellanea, which uh, speeds up my XP rate a little bit, though it is a little more expensive. Whatever. Finally going to sell back all of the spirit shards I've been keeping bang tuts. 5.7 mil back to my cash stack, but uh, don't think that matters so much anymore. And wow, my heart is just beating right now. So excited. So, reward book. Summoning. 99. Right there. Okay. Wait. Crystal tree. 99 farming. And then come over here, turn in a construction daily challenge for 99 construction. And that's how you max in style right there. <laughs> I'm so happy. Whew, time to go pick up that cape. Uh, I'm doing a continuous clip right here. I am not cutting it at all. <laughs> oh man oh I have been doing so much construction today like I finished the tier one task set <laughs> oh god where are you at Max there he is there he is let's see can I just trade him do I actually have to talk to him? oh okay you actually have to talk to him nice cape you have there I've maxed all my skills I will take one. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't I can't make myself teleport there yet. Let me see, let me just put on that hood. Oh, wait, hey, hey. Yes, attach the hood. Okay. I just I have to walk there because I gotta do the, the door opening. There it is, lying on the ground. <laughs> oh man and I actually have uh, three more banners to unfurl over at the max guild now I should have saved them all but you know it's no big deal uh, I'm gonna have to reply to all of these PMs <laughs> alright so running on over here I should turn off the blinking now I have the steel titan which is useful and I can redeem my King Black Dragonling. That's right. 99 farming. Don't think that gives anything. And 99 construction. <laughs> hey. Gotta unfurl all the banners. Then construction right there. Yeah. And for the fantastic door opening. Oh, it didn't do it. Okay, well, there we go. Max healed for the first time. Oh, it gives you a crystal acorn. I didn't have to, to worry so much about it. <laughs> ah, and now I only have this left to go. Let's check those requirements. It's it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a whole lot right here. 
Okay. Whew. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. King Black Dragonling. Just bam. Unlock that pet and gonna have to have it appear in the menagerie, of course. I'm also sadly going to have to clean up this cape tab. It's just taking up way too much bank space. Only having like 20 spots for is just making me nervous. And I already like destroyed my uh, golem outfit and uh, diviner's outfit so that I can reclaim it at Diango at any time. It's just, uh, you know, those 10 slots are valuable. Um, I'm going to keep a few of the useful, useful ones sitting around in my bank. Uh, like the slayer cape is useful, the dungeoneering one. Um, and of course I'll use some of these for the perks in my max cape. You know, for completeness, I had to run around and pick up the skill capes. Skill cape of farming, sure. There we go, just throw on that hood. On to the next one. Talking to the estate agent for the construction skill cape. There we go. Certainly that sounds fair. And here's the summoning skill cape, uh, wait, isn't he? Yeah. Have to... Hmm. I have a question about summoning? Yeah, skill cape, okay. There it is. Oh, oh er, wrong button. As always, I have a question about summoning skill cape. And I'll take one. Bam. And I'll do this all in one clip. There's the glorious farming cape. Probably the hardest of all of my 99s. The construction. And the summoning. Bam. And uh, my max cape. If I go to customize. Oh, uh, customize cape. Nope, not that. I need to look at the perks. Uh, customize skill cape perks. Uh, these are what I'm using. Pretty much just the PVM ones. Uh, invention for charge strain reduction, uh, attack for a chance to not degrade things, just save some money, uh, save some onyxes while using the reaver necklace, and uh, strength for some extra dismembered damage, because I don't really think there's anything else that goes in that slot, aside from maybe the effect of the uh, Ava's device. So from now on, most of my time is going to be going into Dungeoneering. Yeah, just Dungeoneering. Like, I think next week is, is probably going to be just dungeoneering except for one thing which is uh in memory of the my wreck it's got a daily thing that you have to go take care of it takes 10 days and it's something that i haven't done yet um but outside of that i mean i have dominion tower to finish and then a few other things to take care of on the list over here uh so dominion tower is the only big thing left in the desert tasks uh then i have the what's left uh mauritania to where uh, this one uh, brought your stuff back. Yeah. So I have to get a full set of Barrow's gear, which uh, right now it's looking kind of sparse. I've got a Carol's Cough crossbow offhand, crystal crossbow, or pistol crossbow. Uh, then Torag's plate body, Darox Helm, a Darox plate body. Then uh, two pieces of Barrax, the Brassard and the Plate Skirt. Um, so I just gotta finish up those. You know, two pieces missing, two pieces missing. And then two pieces missing here, three here. So hopefully I'll finish at least one of those sets within a few hundred KC. Um, then, like I said, Dungeoneering. Invention, there's another 12.4 mil to go. And, uh, yeah, I mean, completionist requirements. Livid Farm, Bones to Peaches. Uh, and then everything else is, like, easy. You know, I have to just keep up with my ports. To finish a trio storyline, uh, which is right here. Defeat every boss once. Gonna get, uh, probably gonna leech, like, a Beastmaster kill, a Yaka kill, a uh, AOD, a Nex I will do solo. Um, then there's Rago and Rots, basically. Uh, I don't have to do Magister. And I think I have a kill on everything else except Telos, which doing Telos at zero in rage uh, should be doable with tier 90 mage. Um, the titles of the Kadarn, got like another 600 kills to go there. And uh, yeah, then Rush of Blood so that I can get the Slayer Master title. Um, that's it, I think. 
Oh, uh, the famous. Yeah, that one as well, which is pretty quick. It's just kind of difficult. Uh, there we go. That's that's everything I've got left. Uh, so yeah, today is the dungeoneering grind real beginning. So um, currently I've got a goal set to 115, which is uh, Motherlode Maw unlock at the Edamu dungeon, but mostly the Motherlode Maw that comes out of that. And uh, currently sitting at 28.1 million dungeoneering, probably only going to make clips on the levels still, uh, but it's going to give people a, a bit of a gauge on how fast this is going. So 645k to 107. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna kind of sparse on clips now, so these last few long ones, uh, next week's video is gonna be pretty short, even though this week's is gonna be pretty long. And there's 107 Dungeoneering later on the night. Uh, oh, yeah, and, uh, 2700 Milestone. Forgot about that. Yeah, uh, Maxing put me at 2699, and I realized that while I was doing the construction. Um... So I was thinking about maybe going for an invention level or even this dungeoneering level first, but I didn't want to push it. You know, I wanted to max today. Uh, so there's floor 54, and the next boss uh, for those warped floors unlocked. Warped floors? I think. The red ones. Uh, which is good, because it means less blink, I think. So I uh, started the day off with more dungeoneering, of course, and uh, thought I should just spin my tokens because it's going to help me hit a uh, nice little milestone here. I'll just spin them all because why not? And uh, yeah, just past the 30 mil mark on DG. So it means uh, like 74 mil to go, or 74 mil divided by 1.1 because tokens. Um, yeah, quite a while. Also just going to move up to medium floor since I just hit 36. Um, on my first prestige of the day, so I've been doing it for a few hours already. And for what I believe is the second clip of today, here's 108 Dungeoneering. Been working hard all day, and uh, I seem to have learned something that uh, seems to make you more efficient. Always go to unlock bonus rooms if it doesn't take you too much time. So I spent about an extra two or three minutes right there to unlock all of the bonus rooms. Maybe... Maybe actually about a minute and a half or two minutes, I'm not sure. Um, but it gave me that 13% XP boost, and it seems to be overall uh, beneficial in terms of your XP rate. Um, I probably wouldn't do it in the smalls, but I'll definitely keep doing it in the mediums, and it does seem to be uh, a good bit faster. Since it's the only real thing I can show in form of progress, uh, this is my second prestige for the day. Yeah, so I've done all of the floors twice, and uh, gotten 9% of the way from where I was last night to uh, 115. 115 is like about the halfway mark in between where I am and 120, so um, yeah, it's a pretty good goal to set. 31 mil left to go. Uh, let's see, 219k tokens, and I'm like completing the beach event just by doing Dungeoneering. So this is definitely the last of these trio missions, I know, because of the 50-50 reward there. So I do have to complete this, and uh, hopefully I'll pass it. You see it's a 72% chance, which isn't that high. It's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, but we'll see what happens. I currently have the trapper uh, trapped in this ship right here that's returned to increase the chances of these guys showing up. And they just so happen to. Uh, also, it's the last day of this week, and, um, well, pretty close to the end of the day. And one last clip for the week. Going to come over here to the Dungeoneering Rewards Trader and trade in all the rest of my tokens. Uh, 4, 3, 5, 3, 8, 6. Just to pick up a Dungeoneering level for today, 109, and unlocks floor 55. Uh, that's a good portion of the way. Uh, to 115 taken care of today. That's 10% from this morning to this moment, uh, which is pretty good. It's going to be really hard to keep up with, like, a level a day, uh, and next week's clips might not be uh, a clip per day, but we'll see what happens there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. 
I just maxed this week. It's just incredible. And uh, on that road to comp. See you next week.